Mm. Good. Okay. <laughs> Not too bad. Perfect. Is that okay? Mm. There we go. <laughs> okay. Take a breath. Okay. Whoa. That was crazy. Kind of wild, huh? Yeah. Felt okay? Yeah. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think it would actually crack that one. Yeah. Good. Oh. Good. <laughs> Good. Loose, loose, loose. <clears throat> Good. Okay. That's it. Yeah. How's that feel? It's like a lot better. A lot better? Okay. Yeah, so I'm strained. Thank so what do you think of your first adjustment? I needed it. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was looking at your chart and I saw that you're having some frequent migraines. It's going through from the back of your head to your eyebrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, some neck stiffness and everything. So tell me a little bit about what's going on. Yeah, I mean, I have like regular recurring migraines. So it's like it'll go from the back right here. It feels like it's in the neck, and then it shoots through up to like the eyebrow. So I can find me doing this a lot. Yeah. And like trying to hold on to it, or like pushing the back of the lower school. Yeah. Um. Is the pressure like, relieving? Um, for that time being, as soon as I release it, then it comes back. And like I try not to take like any Advil or anything like that. Okay. Until it's like really bad. Gotcha. I'll try and drink water. I'll try and like eat a meal. But, like, yeah. If nothing that helps, then like I'll do like it's Excedrin. It's like right. the only thing, like the strongest thing that'll actually work. Okay. Um, when you get those, are you getting like nausea, vomiting, changes in vision, hearing? Um, not tech, not particularly. It's more just like the pain. Okay. So mostly just starts right here, kind of dull and achy, and mm -hmm. then it slowly spreads. Yeah, it's just like from here. It's always like through this. Gotcha. I never know what's like if it screams or not, so I try not to have like low lights and like scream in front of me. I don't know yeah. if it's like eyes. I don't know if it's head i'm not too sure but okay um how often like how many days a week are you having these probably like three times three times a week mm -hmm. okay so it's pretty disruptive to mm -hmm. your life and when was the last one that you had it's current from last like from yesterday okay. evening through and you're still having one kind of yeah. right now okay gotcha um have you identified anything that makes that worse in particular like um like certain things that you're doing or certain things that you're eating or anything like that i have not like, I don't really know how to, like, track it. Okay. Because it's, like, onset. Yeah. So I never know if it's, like, not eating enough or not right. drinking enough. I'm not too sure okay. if it's stress or if it's, like, the screen. Yeah. I never kind of do a, a set of tracking to see what's triggering it. Gotcha. Okay. How long has this been going on for? Um, probably a couple of years. A couple of years? Okay. Yeah, like, I'm, no, I'm known to have migraines, so, like, I'll have stuff in the medicine cabinet ready to go yeah but as soon like as you it, feel it coming on you go if, yeah and like okay i have one i'm trying to do all the other things to avoid taking the medicine but right. then it's always there just in case okay have the migraines been getting worse over time better over time not changing it's pretty stagnant it's pretty much okay. like i know when i'll have one it's going to be bad and i'll try to do all the things but and even like the advil like i don't have excedrin right now so the advil doesn't do anything Okay. So I took some last night and it didn't do anything and like throughout the night waking up still um, pain and pain and like tossing and turning and stuff. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and like you said, no like blind spots in your vision when that happens or getting dizzy or anything like that? No. Just the pain. Okay. And then tell me about the like neck pain and back stiffness and all that. Yeah, my neck is like always stiff. I don't know whether that's because I'm like having bad sleep. Okay. I don't know if that's pillows or not. I've tried to buy new pillows. It didn't feel mattress. worse in the morning? Yeah, it's like in the middle of the night, just like constant like stiffness and just not like having in that good sleep and right. like tossing to my side. If I'm on my back for too long, then it hurts. Yeah. Or even when I do massages, like my back hurts when they push on it and like try and get into like the center area, not like yeah. the lower. It's pretty much like the higher upper middle that's where I'm like holding my breath because it's like pushing down and it like pushes in a different angle that's yeah. it's not like used to. Right. Um, yeah. So you find that the massages are, it's hard to relax. It's not as relieving as... I never have as... a relaxing massage. Okay. I don't know why I keep going back. Gotcha. I think okay. that it'll like help. Um, and does that go all the way down to your low back? No, uh, it's pretty much like the center, higher center. Yeah, kind of between your shoulder blades and everything? Yeah, a little bit lower than, it's just kind of bright okay. in that 
gotcha. back area. And I don't think I wrote down like my hip flexors are like in pain too. Okay, where do you and feel that pain? It's in the inside. So if I do any swings like to get warmed up for squats and like it yeah. feels like it's, it's just pain. I yeah. don't know how to explain it. Does it feel like a pinching, like it's sharp or is it more dull? Just like achy. I don't know. I try and do like stretching and try and do lunges, but like it's like, yeah. I don't know if I have to continue doing it so it gets like better. But right. like, Once you do some of those things and like warm up a little bit, does it subside or it never really kind of feels comfortable? It's always there. Okay. It's always lingering if I do that movement. Then gotcha. It's always there. Okay. Are both sides about even or is one side worse than the other? I, I don't really. Can't tell. I can't tell. Okay. No, okay. no problem. Um, Okay, so we'll kind of go through and we'll see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. We'll check out the neck, we'll check out your mid-back. A lot of times migraine headaches and um, tension headaches can be heavily related to the neck, especially that first bone in your neck mm -hmm. and where the base of your skull attaches. So we'll pay special attention there. We'll check out your hips and kind of just go from head to toe. Um, have you ever been to the chiropractor before? Um, I went once. I was at a concert and I was like in the pit and yeah. somebody like was crowd surfing and landed on me and oh, so no. my head went straight down and yeah. so after that it was like a really bad strain right and I went to the chiropractor but we didn't do any adjustments he just kind of like okay. did some stretching like kind of moving my neck in a certain way and yeah. um, used the Theragun I think it was gotcha. and like I got like emotional by like how oh, a certain yeah. movement was it was like too overwhelming okay um, but that was like the only thing and then he wanted me to come back later and I just didn't Okay. So that's the only experience that I had. Gotcha. With. So you've never been adjusted. Okay. Well, I'm excited for you because if you've never been adjusted, patients usually are pretty surprised at how much better they feel, mm -hmm. especially some of these headaches and things can yeah. respond really quickly and respond really well. Mm -hmm. So I think you're in the right place. So what we'll do is we'll kind of see how well you're moving and we'll see if we can figure out exactly what's going on and we'll go through and get you adjusted everywhere you need it mm -hmm. and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. okay. All right. So let's do this. Let's have you sit up tall for me. You're going to bring your chin down to your chest and try and touch your chin to your chest if you can. Okay. Not too bad. And then let's have you look up back to the ceiling as far as you can. Okay, a little stiff there. Come back to the center. Look over your left shoulder as far as you can. Okay, and then look over your right. Okay, so we're definitely not turning as far to the left as we are to the right. Um, were any of those movements particularly painful or? It's like when I go all the way in the back in here. Kind of some crunching. Yeah. Or, okay. And then let's have you stand right here for me and face the door. You're going to reach down, touch your toes as far as you can. Okay, not too bad there. We're a little bit flat mm -hmm. in the low back. And then lean backwards for me as far as you can. Okay. That's like hurts. Where do you feel the pain? It's all like all there. there. That's yeah. like painful. If I ever sit in a chair and I have to like stretch my back, that's like what hurts. Yeah. Yeah, we're not moving very far here. <laughs> okay. So let's see what's going on here. So let's do this first. Go ahead and have a seat right here and face this way. We'll do a couple of movements with your head and neck. I just want you to tell me if anything makes the pain up here or in your neck or your headache worse, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to press down. Anything get worse there? Um, kind of like here. Okay, across the crown. Mm -hmm. And then if I come in and I lift, tell me if this makes things feel better. Does that make things better, worse, or no change? Um, not much of a change. Okay. You're not getting any numbness or tingling down into your arms or hands, are you? Mm -hmm. Okay. If we go here... Is so anything yeah. that's worse? That's like through here. Okay. Kind of a stretching, pulling. Mm -hmm. And then what about if we go here? The same. On this side or the other side? It's, yeah, so if you're doing this, it's that right side, side and again. that side the left. Okay, so the opposite side. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to turn you to the left here. Yeah. Fairly stiff right through there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's turn you to the right. And I'm going to give you a little tilt here, so we're going to tilt you. Not terrible there. A little stiff there for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do this. Go ahead and lay face up for me. Your head will go. Yeah. I'm sweating. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> kind of hot in here. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so you'll lay face up for me. And let's take a look at these hips. So. We're gonna go ahead and bring this knee up. So you said they're they're both evenly bad and one's not worse yeah, than the other? Okay. So if we go right here, any pain just coming up 
Yeah, it's like that in this area. Okay. What about if we come across? No. Nothing there? If I push? Yeah, that area. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about if we come right here? Any pain there? Not too bad. It's 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 not as tense as it is in yeah. the other okay. positions. Not too bad on your rotation. Now what about if I pull here? If I pull like this, is that relieving at all? Yeah. Yeah, it feels better? Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe a little bit compressed there. Let's see if this one kind of behaves the same way. So if we come up this way, anything? Yeah, it's the same. Same? Okay, sorry. No, it's okay. What about here? Not as bad. Not as bad. Come in here. Not as bad. If I push down? Yeah. Okay. And then what about if we go? Here? Not as bad. Not really? Okay. You're a little bit more limited internal on this side. Mm -hmm. And then if I pull here, is this relieving in the hip? Yeah, it feels better. Feels a little bit better? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the hips seem a little bit compressed. Let me try one more thing here. So if we lift your foot here and I'm going to strike the bottom of it, tell me if you have any pain in the hip. Mm -hmm. Nothing? No. Okay. We'll do that over here too. Anything? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so we may be a little bit just compressed into those hips. Um, let's check some of the muscles here. So if you hold your leg here, try and pull your knee to your chest. Okay, I'm going to resist you. Does that make the pain worse? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then push into me. Don't send me flying, but just push into me a little bit, okay? Any pain there? Mm -hmm. Okay. So probably not the actual muscles then. Mm -hmm. Pull that knee to your chest for me. Any pain? No. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and give me a little push. Any pain? Okay, so I think you're just compressed in the hips, so we'll go ahead and adjust your hips uh, as we're looking at everything, and then let's have you go face down now. Okay, and then your arms will go right there. Perfect. Everything comfortable for you? Okay. So, any pain here? In my lower back. Okay. What about here? No. Okay. And nothing there yeah where you're pushing. yeah is that sharp or dull it's pretty sharp okay gotcha yeah okay your low back's very tight mm -hmm. okay and then most of your pain you're kind of feeling this area mm -hmm. yeah we're tight through there too okay so we're going to start right here, okay? We're going to do a little adjustment with your rib. My hand's going to go under your hip and just leave this hip nice and relaxed for me, okay? And let your belly be loose. We're going to go here and give you a little push. Ow! Okay. Ow. You all right? Ow, that hurt, yeah. Okay. Is it still hurting or? Uh, it's lingering, but. Okay. I know I need it though. Yeah, take a breath. Take a couple breaths. So we got those ribs real good. Mm -hmm. That moves real well for yeah. us. It can be a little bit intense if you've never been adjusted before. <laughs> How are we doing now? A little better? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Is this as sensitive as it was? Mm -hmm. Not as bad. Okay. So we're gonna do a little bit of massage gun through here to help loosen everything up. Okay. Good. All right. We okay right there?
her. Yeah, I can feel that tension in your neck there too. Okay. So. here okay so this is gonna be similar to the other one we'll try and take it nice and easy on you okay breathe in out good loose belly good okay now was that as bad as the other one no because i knew it was because you knew okay because it didn't surprise you good okay definitely got some stuff going on with these ribs as well okay so oops sorry okay let's have you turn your face to the left and lay your head flat good I'm gonna uncover your ear there for me there we go okay so we'll lay the head flat I'm gonna go right here okay let your shoulders be nice and loose your head loose I'm gonna give you a little push okay Good. Okay. Not too bad. So you go back face down again. Okay. Good. That's starting to loosen up there. So we're going to do these ribs here. So let's have you go ahead and roll face up for me. And then let's scoot you down a little bit. Perfect. Okay. A little more actually. Right there. Okay. So. How this one's going to work is we're going to do your ribs. So mm -hmm. this hand is going to go on your collarbone, and this hand is going to reach down my back like you're trying to grab the top of my pants. Okay, so you're going to give me a little hug. My hand's going to go underneath you. Okay, so good. And then let your shoulder and arm relax. Right here. Breathe in. Out. Good. Loose shoulder. Perfect. That okay? <laughs> All right. We do a similar thing on this other side. So this hand will go on your collarbone. Good. This hand will reach down my back. Good. Okay. Breathe in. Out. Loose shoulder. Oh. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take a breath. So those ribs can be a little bit rough. Mm -hmm. But how are we feeling so far? Good. Okay, so let's go ahead and adjust your low back and your hips, mm -hmm. and then we'll come up to your neck, okay? So let's have you roll on your side. You'll face me over here. I'm going to lift this up. This will be like a little shelf for your head. Perfect. Bottom leg straight, top leg bent. Good. I'm going to pull you off your shoulder, and then we'll go right there. Okay, so... This first one's gonna be for this joint here where your tailbone and your hip come together, mm -hmm. okay? So take a deep breath in for me, and out. Good. No! <laughs> okay. Whoa. That was crazy. Kind of wild, huh? Yeah. Felt okay? Yeah. Okay. So let's go over to the other side. <laughs> okay, bottom leg straight, top leg bent, good. I'm gonna go right there and here. Okay, this side's for your low back. We're gonna go right there. Okay, breathe in, out, good. No! <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna actually crack that one. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna adjust your hips. Okay. So I'm gonna drop this down for you. There you go. Okay, so this leg will be straight, and then this one we're gonna give you just kind of a little pull. All right, so let's see if we want to go more internal. Okay, so nice and easy. Good. One more, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, very tight on that one. Let's scoot you up a little bit. So I'm going to lift your leg up and do it a different way. So your leg's going to kind of go on my shoulder here. Good. I'm going to go right here. Okay, definitely tough on that hip. Mm -hmm. Let's try the other one, so. Good, 
If this leg will go flat, let's see if we can get better movement out of this one. Okay, nice and relaxed for me. Good. Now you felt that one move, right? Mm -hmm. So this one moved better for us. So are we still getting that pain up here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's come back over to this one and see what we can do. Let's scoot you back up before I pull you off the table. Okay, let's give this one another shot. So, nice and relaxed for me. Yeah, tough, okay. So that one didn't want to cooperate today, so. But we can pay that one another visit. Okay, scoot up towards me a little bit. Too bad. So is most of your sensitivity like mm -hmm. in there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to adjust this area where the base of your skull mm -hmm. connects to that first bone in your neck. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to kind of lift you up, hold you to the side, and then we're going to push on the skull to adjust this joint here, okay. okay? So, all you gotta do is stay nice and relaxed. Good. Okay. Good. That was a scary one. Like, yeah. This one. <laughs> it's a little wild, right? How do you feel though? It's okay. Feels fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see if the other side's moving better now. A little bit. Okay, we're gonna go right there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay, nice and easy. That one was a little tough. Mm -hmm. You feeling okay? It's tender. Yeah. And try one more. We'll go here. Good. Okay. Yeah, tough on that one. Okay, so I think we're gonna decompress you a little bit. Mm -hmm. See if we can open that up. So slide down on the table a little bit for me. Perfect. Okay, so let's have you lift your head up for me and then we'll set this right under your neck. Good. Okay, now if I pull here, no pain, right? Mm -mm. Just a little stretching. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna decompress you. So, deep breath in. Out. Good. Loose, loose, loose. <clears throat> Good. Okay. That's it. Yeah. And I felt that all open up. Mm -hmm. So that'll help take a lot of the pressure off, yeah. especially where those nerves come out at the upper part of the neck and go to the back of the skull and can yeah. kind of trigger migraines and mm -hmm. stuff. So, okay, let's put this up. And then let's see how all that feels now. So get up towards me one more time. Good. starting to calm down. Are you as tender right here as you were before? Mm -mm. Good. Okay. And then if I press right here, are you getting anything into your eye? Not so much the eye, but right where like the back of the head is. Okay, back here? Yeah. Gotcha. So this is called the sternocleidomastoid. It's a little muscle here in the front of your neck. Mm -hmm. And it can cause a lot of headaches too, so we'll give this a little bit of attention here. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. 
Does that headache sensation starting to reduce? Mm -hmm. Okay. if we get anything out of the head over here? Mm, I feel it's just not as like, intense. Okay, not as intense as the other side. Mm -hmm. Where in the head do you feel it? It's still in the back. Okay. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll have you get up and we'll try a few of those motions again and see how everything feels by comparison. So I'll have you stand here and we'll do our uh, toe touch and our back bend. Looks like we're bending a little bit more from the low back. Mm -hmm. How's that feel? It's like a lot better. A lot better? <laughs> yeah, it's on the strength. We'll have you bend backwards like you did before. Yeah, still a little bit tight there. Yeah, a little bit. Does it feel better than before? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're moving a little bit better there, but I can still see that you're kind of strained as you're trying to come yeah. back. And then let's have you have a seat again, and let's try some of those motions with your neck. So you'll go chin down to your chest, try and touch your chin all the way if you can. Good. And then we'll look up. And how does that feel? Because I know that was bothering yeah, you before. Yeah, go further. You're going way further? Yeah. And let's have you look over your right shoulder. Good. And then over your left. Yeah, and that's way better than before. Mm -hmm. You're still not quite 100%, yeah. so you're going like basically all the way to 90 degrees on the right, but you're maybe like 80 on the left. Mm -hmm. But before, you're at like maybe 45 or 50 degrees, so mm -hmm. moving better. So, and then how does that feel back here and everything? It's a lot less, like, not as heavy, it feels like. Yeah. That's how I describe it. Kind of like a reduction of the mm -hmm. pressure. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, awesome. And so what do you think of your first adjustment? I needed it yeah. a lot. Yeah. Well, I was happy to, to help provide it for you. You're so welcome. Um, so you may be a little bit sore, especially in that mid-back, that first one where we hit you. Um, if you are sore, you can use like a hot pack to help relax the muscles, and you're welcome to take some ibuprofen or anything like that. Okay. Usually soreness after an adjustment lasts maybe 24 hours. It shouldn't last longer than that. Um, and I would imagine that you'll probably feel even better tomorrow as all the muscle spasm and everything kind of settles yeah. out now that things are moving well. Um, so yeah, the, I think the majority of your headache, because it doesn't sound like that kind of classic migraine where you're having nausea, mm -hmm. changes in your vision, you know, all that, yeah. is more like a tension headache. Mm -hmm. And so I think it just kind of starts back here and then progresses. So yeah. um, stress plays a role in that, but obviously all the muscles and the nerves that go from the neck into the head um, play a role in that too. And so what we went in and did is we got the joints in the neck moving well, calmed down the muscle spasm, and that mm -hmm. should over time start to reduce your headaches. Because um, I think we can get you down to where you're having maybe one fewer than one a week. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, anything's better than that, just tearing up a whole chunk yeah. of your week. Um, so, for you, what I'd probably recommend is to see you once a week for two to four weeks, somewhere in there. And then, what we'll be looking for is as the frequency of the headaches comes down, mm -hmm. we'll start spreading it out to where we're doing maybe like once a month, twice a month, just enough to kind of keep things moving well mm -hmm. and keep you from going back into having those headaches. 